If you have a smartphone with a high quality optical lens and want to take your videography to the next step, chances are you'll want to smooth your footage out with a stabilization system such as this, the Freevision Vilter M. Handheld gimbal systems are no new technology, so the Freevision Vilter M needs to do something special to differentiate itself from the competition, and saying that it's certainly not in the box contents. Inside we find a hard shell case, albeit covered with a higher quality finish, securely holding the gimbal unit itself as well as a shoulder strap and a USB charging cable. Fortunately things do get better, upon initial inspection the quality is actually really good. We have that typical 3 motor gimbal design at the top attached to the hand grip below, nothing out of the ordinary there, but I was left impressed with the overall quality on display here. The hand grip is bulky with rubberized sections for added grippability making it feel rather comfortable in the hand thanks to its ergonomic design. At the bottom we find a wrist strap along with a metal quarter inch 20 thread for connecting to poles or tripods, useful with the unit's built in time lapse features. The controls are conveniently placed by the user's thumb, consisting of power and shutter buttons with a status LED in between, and a thumbstick for moving the gimbal around while in use. On the opposite side we find a trigger used to cycle between different gimbal modes, which we'll come to shortly. Finally on the right side we find a micro USB port used alongside the included cable to charge the built in 2000mAh lithium battery. Yes, unfortunately it is built in so it cannot be swapped out with any spares, although it's rated for 17 days of shooting which I feel is a little far fetched, but even so it'll easily get you through a couple of days at least, more than the attached smartphone will last for anyway. Now we do have one final switch on the front of the unit but it seems like it's glued in place, so it isn't actually switchable and I'll have absolutely no idea what it does. Nevertheless further above are the three gimbal motors stabilizing the tilt, roll and pan axis. The lack of any external wires makes for a neat design while a built in sensor detects whether a smartphone is in place. Note that we do not have a full 360 degree turning circle with the tilt or roll motors, although the pan motor does, but with the size of smartphones nowadays it's not such a huge issue. The smartphone clamp itself is rubber lined to grip as well as protect your inserted handset, and talking of grip that's done with a spring loaded clamp which seems to do the job pretty well. Once installed balancing your attached handset is easily done thanks to a single thumb screw ensuring you can level the handset as much as possible in order to reduce any unnecessary stress on the motors while in use. With that said, a 3 second press of the power button instantly powers up and calibrates the gimbal readying it for use and stabilizing your handset across all 3 axes, no problems there at all. The motors feel silky smooth and practically silent in operation too. From here it's a matter of using the trigger button to switch between different shooting modes, which in turn unlock and lock different axes, depending upon your shooting style and the scenario itself. The joystick can then be used to make fine tuned adjustments or move the handset in different directions depending upon the currently active mode, all pretty standard stuff. When it comes to mounting, other than the tripod mount on the bottom, there's no other easy way to mount it to anything else, such as your body, a helmet, a bike or a car, making it clear that this unit is designed around handheld use for the most part. Anything more and you'll need to get creative. That being said, this has to be hands down the most comfortable gimbal I've tested to date. The ergonomically designed hand grip is simply great, making using the device even for longer periods an absolute pleasure. To get the most of the Vilta M though, you'll want to install the accompanying app named FVShare and available on both iOS and Android platforms. This connects via Bluetooth and opens up a range of new features, including the ability to start and stop capture using the dedicated button, making using the entire system even easier. In essence it's an extension of your native camera app, which you are still free to use of course, although here we have all settings options on the left side, starting with camera and gimbal settings, right down to gimbal speed, dead zones, calibration, even joystick sensitivity alongside general gimbal modes and options, and finally onto camera settings, switching between different modes for both photo or video capture. 
Across the top we have a useful battery indicator and connectivity status. And finally along the right side we find general options to switch between photo and video modes, enable the smartphone flashlight, even switch between front and rear cameras. More noticeably though is the IntelliTrace feature. This is exactly like DJI's Active Track. You draw a rectangle around your subject and the gimbal will then turn to follow it as it moves. And as with DJI's version, it works well until the subject moves too quickly and out of the frame. Overall though, the app works well and the connection remains stable throughout testing. The big question of course is how does it perform? And the short answer is extremely well. Like other handheld stabilizers, it can't do much about the up and down motion as you walk or run. You'd need a proper Steadicam for that, but it still manages to iron out a lot of it to give really smooth footage. Just as putting a top quality camera in the hands of an amateur doesn't mean they'll end up with top quality photos, it's the same with a gimbal. You'll have to put some time into practicing and thinking about how you want your shots to look in order to get really good footage. In the locked mode for example, you can move slowly to emulate a slider shot, while the pan mode is good if you're walking around. Now bear in mind if using a smartphone with optical image stabilization you cannot turn off, you'll get this pulsing type effect. Not a fault with the gimbal itself though, so these devices are best used with smartphones without their own built-in stabilization if possible. As for the gimbal itself, there were no performance issues at all throughout testing, and I've mentioned it before, but I'll mention it again, the unit really is super comfortable to use. That hand grip is by far the best I've used to date. As it stands, Freevision have given us a really good gimbal unit here. Yes, there are some minor annoyances like the lack of flexibility when mounting, but it's designed to be a handheld unit first and foremost, and with that it excels, especially thanks to that great hand grip. All modes work wonderfully well and the accompanying app really does help add extra functionality too. Being priced slightly higher than the DJI Osmo Mobile though will make many wonder why they should pick this over DJI's proven solution, which is a more feature-rich DJI Go app. Although the Vilta M is a fantastic performer, it needs a price drop to really compete.